Uh, looks like you guys already <coughs> have uh, chemistry on that line. How, how have you adjusted to having Torres come in on what was a really successful line before that? Yeah, he was uh, he was all over the ice and just he likes to move it quick. So uh, yeah. we like that when that happens. It's just uh, you're not holding it on, dusted it off, and we're a quick line. So we're getting in there, and it, it was successful tonight. Just unfortunately, we couldn't uh, get that second goal we needed. DJ, I know you were out of breath. We talked uh, during the game, but if you could just go back and kind of describe your goal and uh, how often you get a chance to even put on a shot like that. Uh, I mean, we weren't happy with the way the period was going, and that was pretty much the first four check we had in, in that period, I don't know, eight minutes in or something, and, you know, Rafi did most of the work, and Huck was sitting there for me, and we just figured, you know, spin and fire and put it on that, and uh, luckily it went in. The experience of Rafi for the first time uh, from your perspective? He's great. He just moves the puck quick. He's a he's a give and go player, and uh, you know I think we could have connected a couple more times. It was really close, but uh, you know yeah, it was it was a pleasure. And he's you know he's pretty tough, so you don't really worry about other guys on the other team too much. For the high energy guys on the team, yourself, <coughs> Burish, um, can Rafi Torres be contagious to take to your guys' game even to another level? Kind of inspire you to to. to we take another step up with him? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, anytime someone, it doesn't have to be Raf, it can be anyone who's playing well, it kind of builds everyone else up. So, uh, you know, over the last uh, few weeks here, we've been feeling off each other. And, you know, the fact of the matter is we're 7-0-1 in our last eight, so I don't think uh, we should be too gloom.